Now, if you're going for a Java or a Python interview, then you will probably come across a question in this form or another. What is an interpreter and what does it do and why is it important? Well, to understand what an interpreter is, you first need to go to the diagram of the CPU, which shows it takes instructions, which all come in hex code or machine code. Obviously, this is unreadable and unwritable. And so that's where programming languages evolved. But in order to turn a language into machine code, you needed a compiler that basically translated it for you so the CPU, so the CPU knew what it was going to run. With an interpreter, it's different to a compiler in one way. So if you have a language like Java, Python, or C++, when you write the code, what you do is you don't compile it. You bundle it up and you send it out into the wild for people to run. The people who want to run it have an interpreter on their device. So on Linux, Windows, Android, they have an interpreter. So if you've heard of the Java machine, it's basically what this is. That interpreter creates machine code on the fly from, for example, your Java code. So the difference between a compiler and an interpreter is a compiler converts the code at build time. So when you build it as a developer, an interpreter creates that machine code at runtime. So after you've distributed the package. So what's the advantage of this? And this is what your interview is looking for. The advantage is fairly obvious in my opinion. You can run your code on any system and you don't need to know about the system as long as it can run Java, Python, C++, and a whole host of others that run through interpreters. You've experienced an interpreter every single day. In fact, you're experiencing one right now because your browser is an interpreter. When I send out JavaScript, Angular, TypeScript, Vue.js, whatever it is, all it needs is a browser to interpret what the JavaScript is, which then runs on your machine. Now, reality is a little bit different to that, so it's not really a true interpreter, but it's near as damn it. And so that interpreter is creating code understandable by the CPU thanks to the browser technology. So the major feature your interviewer is looking for you to say is that you can get machine code on the fly and run on any system that supports X language. Now, it's important to note that an interpreter is not a compiler, okay? So if you go in, into an interview and they ask you this question and you mention compiler equal to interpreter, then you fail the interview, basically, because you don't know the difference between the two. A compiler compels at build time. An interpreter creates machine code on the fly at runtime.